What is up my guys, girls, gamers, and gamies? Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are back with more LEGO Fortnite Survival. I got a couple things to do today, but before we go into it, if y'all enjoy this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever, make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any one of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below. Let's get into it. First off, I apologize if I sound I'm tired. I have been not, I, 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 I wouldn't say I'm a party animal, but I feel like I have been partying a little too much just recently. Oh, uh, but if I sound tired, that's why, because I haven't really slept rot in a while. <laughs> so, woo! Okay, what we're doing, we're building a building. We're expanding our village. Um, we're not doing relax. La lag cabins. We're not doing our lag cabins. We're doing log cabins. Um, not doing those. We're not doing Pleasant Park builds. Although I do need to do a pavilion soon. I might do that as well this video. We'll see where I place it. But today, I'm actually building one of the Durburger restaurants because all villages need a nice little restaurant. You know, put a little restaurant in your suburban village. So what I'm going to be building is the takeout counter. And I actually really like this one because I can set up a little bit of uh, nice little decorum inside, and I gotta be honest, I I did a little, I, I wouldn't say it was a bad thing, but I, I got up to some mischief uh, before this recording, probably the night before, I went farming, I know, I, I know we've talked about my whole farming issue, like going and getting this stuff, like you're, I'm supposed to be waiting, and doing it as we record. And I, I got a lot of marble. Like, the the only thing I I've, I, uh, I farmed was, like, wood and granite and marble. Not a whole lot. I mean, there's really... Like, there was nothing new added. So, everything's still intact. I just got more wood, more granite, more marble. So, I'm going to be building the restaurant. I should have everything I need. But the reason I'm doing this right now is because I still have to head back to the desert. And find... Uh, some, actually, I think it's, if I'm correct, because this is the oven, not the smelter. I think I need bright core for the smelter, maybe? I'm still unsure. I already forgotten what I need, uh, for the smelter. So I'm hoping to find some bright core, uh, because I have copper and stuff. So it's, I want to, I want to say it might be the bright core that I need to unlock it. So, think about where to put it. Because I could do this, where it kind of goes out to a certain degree. Like, if I want it facing that way or facing this way. Which I'm actually kind of all for facing this way. Way they being facing towards the village. Well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I did do this uh, last night where I went ahead and checked where I want the builds ahead of time. So we kind of get a good idea of where all this stuff is going to be. And I'm just trying to see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hope it looks good. I'm going to hope it looks good. I know it seems pretty close. So hopefully it doesn't really like get in the way too much. I mean, the wall, like, the the back alley kind of still like makes sense with how small it is. So it it's pretty good looking I must say and I have it facing that way because I guess this is kind of more the center of the village so you really want stuff like this facing the center you know the games like this maybe just think of like games like the Sims which I never actually figured out how to play the Sims I have uh, I think it was like the Sims 4 I think on PlayStation so if y'all want to see games like that if y'all want to see me figure out how to play the Sims let me know I've, I've got so many game ideas that I could do and speaking of which I'm gonna start doing like new games, or well, I say new games, but new videos basically of you know games maybe like Minecraft and honestly some other stuff that I have to currently think about. Minecraft is just one of those ones that I grew up with, so I'm gonna try and do a series on that again. I won't be able to pick off pick pick up where I left off uh, from the old world, so basically we'd be starting brand new, and I'm actually kind of happy with that. Every, every new series really needs a... Like, after so long, you definitely need a new start. But I'm going to finish up this build. Head to the desert. 
And this is why I'm doing this first, because I know it's going to take a while for me to find uh, what I need. Now, fortunately for me... Oh, wait, was this... Oh, oh no. Oh, wait a minute. Or wait, no? Hold on. What? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know, I apologize. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait, no, that's right. That's right. Okay, that's weird. Oh, was I'm, I'm... Okay, I apologize for anyone curious on why I'm freaking out right now. I didn't think about it in my head. I'm thinking that, like, this was supposed to be in front. It, it still works. I was just confused. I was like, wait, why is that there? Why is the counter there? It shouldn't be there. It's supposed to be, like, at the front, and I'm, like, freaking out. Bro, I just gotta let the game do its thing. Because, honestly, it knows better sometimes. It just knows better. And, daggummit, more skeletons. Skeletons are so annoying in this game. Like, why they gotta make it, make them such an annoyance? Add, they need to add new mobs to the game to just... Like, lighten the load for the skeletons. Give them a break. They've been working hard every day. Having to attack me personally, mentally, physically. They just want to they want to break me down so I can build myself back up, you know. Piece, piece by piece. <laughs> Where does this go? Oh, it goes over here. All the way around. <sighs> I should have the rest of the pieces that I need. I don't think I have to do much more. But thankfully, I have my glider now, so we are good to go uh, to the desert here in a minute. I know we had to walk the whole way last time. We're not doing that this time. No way, no how. Because the reason why I'm so focused on getting to the desert and getting the smelter for anyone that doesn't know, I made an off-roader uh, in the desert episode, which was like, I think, two episodes ago now. Um, I made an off-roader, but unfortunately I need power cells. Now, I think this is what everyone was talking about when I got, when the update came about the, the power cell setting. Like, there's a certain setting that you can change, and I believe this is, that's what they were talking about. And, I mean, I have no problem using it. I was just, it's, all I need is glass. Now, I was ho I, and again, hoping to find any more chests. I, I got enough to make the off-roader. Didn't get enough to make uh, the power cells, because I completely forgot about the power cells. But I'm I'm just... A See, this is what I love about doing, because, like, being able to make the Dirt Burger restaurant here looks so good, especially in this gigantic village that we have. Uh, it's amazing. This is why I love this game. This, but again, for like for me personally, I wish they would add more of the Fortnite locations, like to the game. Like do the do the uh, OG uh, locations on the map, not the. I mean, some newer ones probably, but like just to keep it fresh, like the Dirt Burger restaurant, which was in Greasy Grove. You know, you just do stuff like Tilted Towers and probably Salty stuff like that. So I like this. I'll set the uh, decor up. Uh, maybe in a future video, but that that will be for its own video because I've got to, like decorate that house, that building, those those houses right there. I got to do a lot. Now I did do a lot uh, more crafting because as you can see, I got another pickaxe. Uh, that's actually like the second no because I made like two more other than the one I have. Well, no, that's not right. The one I had broke. And then this is one of the second ones, one of the newer ones. I've done a lot of work, and I feel so tired. <laughs> but you gotta keep with the grind, you know? So we've got this. I'm just putting this stuff up, and I'm heading to the desert. See, I knew it wasn't gonna take long, so it's like... I didn't want that to be its own little... Now, it would be fine as its own thing. I mean, I, I have no problem doing just solid builds for a video. But hello, we've been doing this for just 10 minutes. I gotta span this out for, to like 20. 25 30 we'll see dang the moon's going down pretty fast oh i'm not taking an ally with me this time around it it's no problem for me but for anyone wondering which skin i'm rocking today i am rocking crazy eight uh crazy eight was i believe part of a bundle with 
banana or well b- banana peely uh peely and links they they had their own little uh, bundle together i don't remember if i got it just for the skins or if they had v bucks with it honestly i don't remember i usually get skins like if, if i have to pay actual money for skins not just v bucks like v bucks you have to pay like pretty much anything in game like you have to spend some form of money but uh V bucks obviously obviously spend money, but like, where am I going? I need to head up and head towards the desert. I get I get I'm getting so sidetracked talking to myself that all I've got is the spiders behind me and the lonely uh, lo- lonely rangers out here hunting for pedestrians that are not doing what they should be. They're they're the tr- uh, bridge trolls. They're here to stop me from traveling across the bridge, which I've already accomplished. But I think I'm good. I don't think I gotta worry about anything. I just gotta get this stuff and go. That's all. Cause I'm like I'm hoping to unlock it. If I can unlock the smelter in this video, I think we'll be good to go. But otherwise, I'm gonna get as much bright core and obsidian as I can. I got a few. I got a couple of things of obsidian. I also have some slabs. Hoping that was gonna unlock it. It did not. And there's another roll. That's hold on. Hold on, I want everyone to see this. One, two, and three rollers. There are three rollers in the same area. Dang it, I was hoping... Oh, wait, watch. I'm going to use that roller as the way to eliminate the skeletons. Your skeleton... Scorpions, sorry. Look at that. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know what you expected from that. Hey, get away. Don't, don't touch my meat. You think you're funny? You think you're real funny, huh? Nice try. I'm gonna get your buddy shells too. Where are you at? I th- I find that hilarious that they were in the same area, like just chilling. I, I it, because it's ironic because the last time we did this, Daggum. the spider knew what was coming. Y'all, I'm hoping y'all saw that. I hope I turned to the right angle. Now I know I'm using the pickaxe to beat up the roller, but that's all I kind of have. Ow. If I would not turn as I hit. Get here. And boom. Now you're paralyzed. Paralyzed and terrified. Get over here. But the reason I bring it up is because last time I tried to find any rollers, I couldn't find any along the beach, and here's three all next to each other. Like, it was just weird how that was what happened. So, I mean... I'll take what I can get from this game, honestly. And I've still debated whether or not I want to do this place. Hey, there's a brute. No, thank you. I'm not here for you. Um, unless you can point me in the direction of a cave. You really don't have a use for me right now. I do need to eventually get more claws, but I won't worry about that now. Let's see, because I know where that cave is, but that was a loot cave, for anyone that doesn't remember. Oh, but if you are new here, <clears throat> sorry, got a lump in my throat. If y'all are new here and this is your first time watching, uh, thank you for clicking on the video. Um, we're, this isn't really like a, you have to watch the previous episodes to understand, but sometimes, you know, but again, this this one series is this series in particular. You don't really have to go far back for. We've done like two or three series of this game, and I find I find a way to do something a little bit different here and there. I need to start expanding where I go in the desert. Maybe have a better chance of finding uh, finding another cave that actually has bright core. Then, ow! I hit it with my fist. Oh, but I did want to bring something up that I that I kind of had like it was like one of those shower thoughts, you know. For everyone that plays Fallout, like I, I want to say Fallout 4 because that's the only one I've played. I I can't say I'm like a big person on the lore, but I just wanted to bring the game up uh, only because I was thinking about it and it's like some of Lego Fortnite in a way kind of matches up, at least in the creature like from the creatures perspective. There's another roller. I'm not here for you. We're gonna just go throughout the map, see if we can find a cave. Nope, dodging you. And then, boom. 
I'm hoping it unlocks on its own. Because if I have to go far distances for it, this ain't gonna look good. But back to my little Fallout 4 theory. So, in my head, I kind of can compare the creatures from this game to Fallout 4. And I'll, get, and I'll tell you what I mean. So, the Brutes, for example, the, the, the big boss of the game, the Brutes are the Death Claws. They kind of look like the Death Claws, too, just a little bit. Oh, there's a cave right there. Good job, me. Way to go, me. You found a cave. You had to look a little bit, but it, it took you it took you a good minute, but you found it. It's a good job. And I, I hear that roller. I'm not here for the roller. Now, I'm hoping this is a different, like, an actual different cave that's going to have the lava, bright core, everything I need. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot about something I need to do in the village. I'll, I'll take about five minutes here. We'll head back to the village. And I'll get what I needed to do done because I was supposed to make a juicer. I have what I need for a juicer. Hey, now. Get over here. It's just you by yourself. You ain't standing a chance against me. Let's be real here. You can swing your axe all you want, but it ain't working. So, with Fallout 4, Death Claws and the Brutes are kind of the same. Not, well, actually, somewhat. Yeah, because every time they roar, they do like a. They have their own little power thing. Like, because the. I know the Death Claw has this, like, little earth shaking roar, I think. Uh, at least from what I've seen when I've played the game. Ow. Well, at least you don't hurt that bad. Hey, we got some free Bright Core. Thank you. You already got some of that for me. Awesome. And we did unlock the Metal Smelter. I was right. You just needed Bright Core. Uh, I'm hoping. Actually, wait a minute. I believe in the desert episode I had I got the blast core but I didn't use it for the charm. I never made the charm yet. So I should still have three blast core. I can get the obsidian here. Actually I have some back at the base. I should be able to slab it all down and I just need some bright core and I think we're good to go. So we got ourselves a pretty good episode, not gonna lie, I think we're gonna do some pretty good work here. I'm gonna head all the way down over to the lava, like right over there. Hey, now there's a bright core to my left, or blast core to my left. I'm not here for you. I'm here for all of this glowing goodness, known as bright core, baby. So back to how I compared it. Brute and Deathclaw. There's your, there's your first one, right? Okay. Second one. And I'll work down from lists or from enemies to friendlies. So, Deathclaw and the Brute are similar. The Rollers, in my, in my mind, I picture the Rollers, so, you know, basic uh, sand roll, like, basic roller, sand roller, frost roller, those, and the Blasters, all of those represent the Murlac, I believe it's the Murlacs. That's what I think of when I see the Rollers now. So those are like the Murlacs from Fallout 4. Next would be, I suppose, the Skeletons. And in a way, I wouldn't say they're the sense of the game, but I think they're more ghoulish. I suppose they're, they don't have that zombie-like texture to them. They're just skeletons. So if you want to think of them as their own thing, you're like you're free to think that too. Like that's because I could see that. But in my head, I'd compare those to the ghouls. Because they do, like, they do their own thing until they notice you, and then they go crazy. They go feral. So that's my comparison with those. Next, I'd put on the list would be, like, scorpions. Now, there's not any, like, big scorpions, which if there was, I'd lose my crap. I'd flip my lid. Uh, scorpions, uh, the rad scorpion from the game, even though the ones from Fallout 4 are a lot bigger. So, I mean... Take, with, take what you will. Size doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's that. Spider... Actually, I don't think there's anything for spiders. I don't remember, I don't recall uh, seeing any spiders in Fallout 4. I, I mean, I beat the game just... Actually, well... As, of, as this video is going up, it'd be two days ago. No. No, I'm sorry. Uh, it would have been... Actually, yes, because I... Uh, Thursday night? Yeah, that's when I beat it. Thursday night. I'm doing this so I can get more bright core. So Thursday night I beat 
Fallout 4, or I, I felt like I beat it. You know, I did, uh, I got the accomplishment of, uh, whatever it was with the Commonwealth. Like, the, the, uh, Design the Fate of the Commonwealth. I know we're talking about different games right now, but I just had to talk about it because I know that, wait, I don't have wood. I need that, I need that chest. Give me that chest so I can head back to my base, and I should be able to make my smelter. I'm really happy with my smelter. I don't know where I'm going to put the smelter. But at least we have it. The main the main thing is that we have it. It's good to go. And with that, we'll have... Oh, thanks. More wood. I could always do with some more wood. Now, obviously, this cave isn't completely mined out. Uh, I gotta really work on these caves more. Especially those basic ones that have barely, barely to little loot. And, you know, P PSA, everyone, always uh, clean out your cave. Always make sure your cave is clean. And, you know, you don't want your friends uh, joining your map and seeing that you have uh, unclean caves. You haven't really mined it out and full of all that loot in there. You, you really need to take care of your, of your caves more. So handle those, and your friends will be a lot happier when they go through your cave. Just a little PSA. So, spiders definitely not anything for Fallout 4, so there's your own little... Now, and again, there's the... You know, you could always compare this to Minecraft, but this is its own thing still. But spiders have nothing directly to Fallout 4. Let's see, what's next? I don't believe there's any other enemy creatures. No, they're uh, the wolves. Now, I bet you're wondering how the wolves come into play. Uh, I would compare those to the mongrel dogs in the game of Fallout 4. I, can, I would say the, that's a good comparison. Um, other than the fact that they're just dogs. Oh, come on, I really wanted some rubies. Leave me be, please. <sighs> Alright, fine, you want a 2v1? Let's do it. And your friend decided to throw some dynamite, thinking, Hey, now! Oh, mama. Ho, ho, ho. You, you're taking out your own friends. I hope you know that. Come on, chase me. Hey, now! Didn't ask for that. I'm not asking for a, a fireworks show here. I'm just asking y'all let me be. This ain't working out, Chief. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna have to be careful when I go get these rubies. Actually, if y'all want to help me out... Yes. So, I'm using them to uh, my advantage. Watch. Perfect. So, see, as they throw the dynamite, it gets me plenty of rubies and I don't have to waste my pickaxe. Y'all are really helping me out here. Thank you. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that last one. Actually, I might be able to. Hey, that was a little bit of a cheating throw. You kind of... You, what, did you have through the walls? You saw where I was going to be running through? Where exactly? Please, I I encourage y'all to throw more dynamite at me. Whew. I think one of them got eliminated. I, I'm not even using my, my pickaxe, which would do more. Ow. Okay. We're still alive. We're still here. I got some dynamite. Let's blow this pop stand. Actually, I need more rubies. One more ruby to go. We get this, head back to the base. We m Actually, we, won't, we probably won't have the time to do the smelter. Smelter will be next episode. But what I will have time for is the juicer. And then we're good to go. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get whatever that is. That's kind of upsetting. But we got to hurry. I always got to hurry in, in situations like this, you know? Actually, I don't remember how to get out of here. So, the first goal is figuring out how we got here in the first place. You know, I should have done what I've been saying I would, just making markers for, the, like, where I'm going. So, the, now the purpose of this is just to find a way out of here. More rubies. Dad, gummy, you, you, you're teasing me with rubies. Good loot. Just too much good loot. One more, and I'll head home. Okay, that's plenty. I can't get out. There we go. It's a little bit of parkour. Oh, God. How do I get out of here? 
So we're going to, have to journey on through some of the lava, bounce around the area, see what the best option is of getting out of here. Because I don't think I flew down like really far. Like I don't, I don't think it was that bad. I think, I mean, didn't Ron? Am I wrong about that? I might be wrong about that. I mean, th wait, what do I do? I mean, the best option is to just head up. Oh, okay, lag. Thank you, game, for all the amazing lag you gave me just now. This isn't the way out. I'm not realizing this is not the way out. I gotta get your blast core. I'm sorry, but I gotta get it. It just helps me more. Okay, was there a way up from... You know what? We gotta do it. I think we gotta do it, you know? So we head up, try and find ourselves an exit. Otherwise, we're gonna be here a while. And I don't wanna be here any longer than I have to. Oh, I think this was it. I think. Do we fly down? We, uh, we may have. Hey, actually, that's not it. I, I don't think that's it. Maybe it was. I have no idea. Actually, I think this was it. This definitely was it. So I'm going to... Dadgum it. I'll worry about y'all in a later episode, or I'll farm some of y'all here in a bit. So what I'm doing now, heading back to the base, getting more, like, uh, getting, gonna grab the materials for my, uh, juicer, then we'll be good to go. And then next episode, we'll build the smelter, and have ourselves a good old time with making some more glass, because we're definitely gonna need a lot of glass. Now, thankfully, they don't have a thing where you have to, uh, burn materials, like, oh god, no, not this. Anything but this. Watch me get zapped as I'm flying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. I'm all good here. I'm breaking this now, because I know I can. I, I can't grab that one thing. It was just copper. Just copper bars. Oh, dang. The storm is gone instantly. Oh, we still haven't finished up our uh, uh, comparison. I, I now realize we got got caught off track. Um, I believe we finished up the enemies after the wolf. Nothing else in that area. The Now, the friendlies... Uh, the only thing I could think of... Uh, chickens wouldn't count, even though they are bird-like. And I know there's birds in the game, but I mean... Eh, I don't know if we'd really want to compare them together. So, now, dadgummit, if these things don't leave me alone, they're going to be in for a while, Tom. When my when my villagers decide to gang up on y'all with their swords and pickaxes, and you'll end up regretting you ever, you ever attacked me in the first place. I hope you know this. Because look at this. It's a whole gang of skeletons just ready to pile on me. Like, get out of here. More, like, I gotta build my gate. That might be next episode. We might build a gate. Quite possibly. Okay, enough chit-chatting. We got to get our juicer. So, what we need for our juicer? Marble slabs, not root rods, and planks. I've got planks right here. I need... Well, what else can I put up? I've got so much stuff, and I don't know what to do with it. Flex wood? No, no flex wood. Ugh. What about you? Silk? Yes. Ah, uh, oh wait, no, I just, I, I, I'm sorry. For a second, I looked at just the 18, and I was like, crap, we didn't grab enough. I didn't, I didn't look over here where there's a 50. I just looked straight at the 18, I was like, crap, we didn't grab enough. So, I was a little bit dumb on that, uh, on that little situation right there. We'll ignore it. Uh, slabs. We got our slabs already made. I already went ahead and pre-made those. Because uh, I intended on doing this at the start. Completely forgot. And I've got the rods. We're good to go to make our juicer. 
Uh, before I do that, but just before, I want to grab my obsidian if I can. Can I place any of this up? Can my guys help out? Okay, thank goodness it's day, Tom. Ooh, I've been out for so long that I didn't know whether it was day or night. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Blast cores. Which we got blast cores. We got plenty of blast cores. Uh, obsidian. That's going to take the slabs, correct? I want to make sure this... Okay, 35. So there's five right there. So I need to make 30 more. Put those up. Oh, yes. We're in business. So next episode, we'll have what we need for the smelter. And we won't have to worry about it anymore. Thank goodness. So get that put up. Eventually have more glass. I'll quit worrying about what I got to put up. I'll do that right after this. So we got the nut root. We got everything we have for the juicer. Correct? Correct. Now, where we put it, who knows? You know, I kind of think putting a juicer in the in the restaurant would actually be a good idea. So, And I'll work on this more as we go about... I'm picturing what I did in the Hardcore series, so I kind of think I'm going to keep some of the stuff the same. So I don't know if I'll put a juicer in here or not. Should I... Mm, actually, a juicer... Watch a juicer just be out at the front. Well, no, I gotta put the tables out here. Man, it, it messes with my creative freedom. I'm like, what do I do? How do I rearrange what, I'm, what I've am what i got going for me? But, well, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me... That could work. Hold on. You know what? That works, because I'll build this here, and I'll put, like, the pantry thing right here. But other than that, I think we're good to go. So if you ever need like a, a drink or something, bada bing, bada boom, there's a juicer. We're so good at what we're at what we're doing. Like, I just gotta get to a, a high view adv uh, advantage point, just to show you all uh, how far we've come along since the start of this like start of the series. So I'll, I'll head up here, and I think, oh god, I need to move this away now. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Imagine if I push this down. Right towards my houses. And what are you doing here? Why are you so close? Get away. We're not here for you. But regardless, actually, I'm going to go ahead and move this now. I'm hoping I don't mess this up. Okay, thank goodness it just stayed in the air. Wait! Wait, 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 Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, boy! That was scary. Oh, God. <sighs> I ought to leave these here. I ought to just leave these here. You know what? Y'all can stay. Holy crap. I thought what I was doing was rot. Turns out I was very much wrong. Maybe if I didn't mess... Like, I was just thankful the momentum slowed really... Like, like slowed a lot. So, as we got that brute behind us... Look at this. I just want to take a quick, like... Hold on, we get a little bit closer just to get the whole scope of it. So I know it doesn't look big from like a, a certain like point, but like you go inside the village, it's pretty big. Like it's really cool. You got your shacks, your log cabins, your restaurant over on the far side, your Pleasant Park builds. This is like a, 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 a what would you call it? It's like a it's like a campground or something. Like it's so cool. I really like it a lot. Now, with, I think we've almost used up most of the flat area. And in all honesty, I don't know if I could do anything with this middle section. Had I built smarter, I probably would have. But honestly, I kind of like it. So next on the agenda is to build a gate around the place. Maybe one more build. We'll see, depending on what we've got and where we've gotten around to. But before I end things off, I really wanted to show you all my garden real quick. Please let me be on the top of the house. I've expanded the garden just enough. Uh, I went through my compost bin, got all that done, and it just looks really cool. All that grass is growing outside of my builds. That's weird. But we've got, like, and most half of our garden is almost, like, pretty much done. Almost. So it's it's looking really cool, and I really like this place. Next, like, once the smelter's made, we'll work on glass, get what we need for the power cells, put that into the off-roader, and then head somewhere like that village over, like the the green marker over there, and work on a new village, and you know get things done. But I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this series, and I hope you all have had fun too. 
So if y'all enjoyed this episode and want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share this with your friends, share this with your family, share this with whoever. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss any one of my videos when they go up. Also, if you feel like becoming a member and want to see these videos early, y'all go check out the join button on my channel or check out the link down in the description below, and I will see y'all in the next one. So, with all that being said, thank y'all so much for watching this episode, and have a great day.